another episode of Aspie with Attitude. You're right now watching episode 364. To introduce myself, my name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, Asperger syndrome. That's why I call myself an Aspie. And I think it's time for me to take off that mask. Well, anyway, welcome to another video upload from Aspie with Attitude. It's what I talk about autism and what it's like to be on the autism spectrum and how I actually do live my life being autistic which is something I can never help at all. So just for this video upload which is actually very important that I want to talk about scams and what really goes on with scams and everything like that. Since now we're in the age of the internet and in the age of social media and it's known that people do make a living using the internet pretty much like whether you're Mr Beast or you're just a regular YouTube content creator with maybe over 50,000 subscribers and enough just to get a lot of money and everything like that. Once money is actually made enough to live a lavish materialistic lifestyle there are always going to be scammers. Well scammers are all over the internet and it's actually very hard to find. Anyway, it does just mean an ominous mask. Since I want to talk about pretty much the darkest thing that goes on the internet. The thing about scammers is, it's what it takes to scam a person. Okay, to give you a brief rundown, it could be pretty much like if you've seen the 985 film Superman number three. Just like the character that was played by Richard Pryor. And I've just actually forgotten about this character. Anyway, just like he scammed his own computer company. Since he felt he was underpaid. Anyway, that's called hacking. And when you hack, it's all about trying to really, by chance, get into somebody else's YouTube account. Maybe you want to delete the videos and maybe replace the videos with Bitcoin scamming. So like, it is possible that even my YouTube channel, As Beef Attitude, can one day be hacked and all my videos be replaced by Bitcoin scamming. The idea of scamming is, it's all about making money for nothing. Kind of like real cybercrime here I'm talking about. That's how cyber criminals rob banks these days. Before the age of internet, you needed a gun, go to the bank and Pretty much cover up your face like I do with this anomalous mask, except you're wearing a black metal clava and you're robbing your bank manager to get whatever money you can run and just hope that the cops don't get in your way. So I tried to take off this again. Well, since the year 2024, on the evening of 20th of September 2024, is when I like to talk about scamming. So, how would this work then? So first off, trying to think of many manipulative tactics just to really get into this person's hooks, like whether they want to get into their online bank account or any social media accounts. It goes both ways. It could be all about stealing money or just for the fact that they just want to stir people up. And if they find someone who's mentally stable, they like to mentally destabilize a person and just to see how they react, how they feel, and everything like that. It could also mean that it's just basically stirring people. I just want to get back to a part about money getting stolen over the internet. So there's just many mini big tactics like, so first off, social engineering, which I'll be getting to soon. So brief rundown of social engineering is, it's when you actually trick the person in handing over details like say credit card number that's all they really need to do to be able to get into a person's bank account being tricked to hand over their account number to really access it get whatever money they want enough to make them happy enough to maybe fund a lavish and a materialistic lifestyle even if a person's going to be left in poverty so like, it's a taking all your money, it doesn't matter how long it takes. As long as they get it without any empathy that you're going to be left rotting away in poverty. So it's pretty much similar to what I said back in episode 
194 when I did autism and manipulation. Stuff we have uploaded on the free year for August 2021 as a quick recap. It all comes in various shapes and sizes once it comes to scammers. So like some people do get away with it and sometimes they can catch a person and it's often that let's just say that $50,000 have been stolen from you. It's very rare that they'll ever get the money back. Once they have the money, they'll spend it on things and it's just bad luck, whether it's a four of your own or not a four of your own. But another way that they can actually really get into your bank account and your social media account is sending you an email and you have a real convincing email and you might be asked to click onto a link. A link can actually have a malware. A malware is a type of virus that's actually installed in your computer. And what happens with a malware? A person on the other side of the line, you don't know where that person is, could be anywhere on this planet. And however it is so, they can watch everything you do, like everything you type. It's easier to get a password or whatever. If you have to do a bit of online banking, they can watch your password and watch what your username is. And if they're successful recording this, say, on a bit of paper, five minutes later, they can get in your bank account and clean up your bank account. And it's just free money, a free cow to milk, basically. So, once it comes to scamming people, two ways is manipulating, tricking people, doing social engineering, or tricking a person to click on a link so a malware can be downloaded onto the computer. So anyway, if you like what I'm doing here, please, why not subscribe to Ask Beef Attitude? That's all I ever ask for in terms of support. And also, please don't forget to ring the notification bell if you want to keep up to date with Ask Beef Attitude. And also, please, don't forget to like and share this video content around. That way, you're showing more support to this channel. I'm going to end this video just to show you that when you're scammed, it's very traumatic if it's actually thousands upon thousands of dollars that have been stolen from you. Or that your social media account is hacked. Or even your bank or, or your online bank king has been hacked. So anyway, so enough of this. Anyway. I hope you learned. Okay, here we go. I hope you learned a bit. And Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to Ask Me Fair Attitude. Peace and respect. And see you next time.